Hey, what's up? Sean here. Now let's talk about something that I see so many people get wrong. What exactly gets factored into your credit score and what determines what your score actually is? So the short answer is you do. So we all start out on the same playing field when it comes to credit. We all have this zero credit, no credit, whatever score you want to call it all starting out on the same playing field and essentially the financial decisions you make is what determines your score and a lot of people really hate this whole credit term or really how to build credit or everything about credit but it's actually relatively simple and is a really great guide as to actually determining what your financial prowess is all about you know you'll have your guys who have really high credit scores who pretty much go up to you and say hey my name's sean and i've got a good credit score and then you've got the other people who don't have the good credit scores who never like to talk about credit at all but no matter where you fall on the spectrum it's okay whether you got good credit bad credit no credit my buddy simon actually says it the absolute best when it comes to credit your score reflects the decisions you made in the past which might have brought them down but the decisions you will be making can bring them back up so let's do it here is a breakdown of the five major components that affect your credit score so take it all in as you can see in the pie chart it's broken up into your payment history amounts owed length of credit history new credit and the different types of credit so let's briefly touch on each payment history is the first one now, payment history is exactly what it sounds like how is your history in regards to making the payments? Are you consistent? Are you not consistent? Are you even making payments? Are you not making payments? Payment history is a big one and it is where a lot of people get into trouble when they don't make their payments on time that can negatively impact your scores. And everyone knows that, right? So I wanna talk about something else that a lot of people don't usually know and it's the consistency in your payments. Are you a predictable borrower is essentially what the credit companies wanna know. If you're gonna apply for my credit, I want you to be consistent. Are you gonna be making a payment of $400 one month, $3 the next, and $100 the next after that, I want to know, are you going to be making that $100 a month payment consistently, consecutively, everything about it? I want you to be predictable if I'm a credit company. So if you can prove to them that you are consistent and predictable, and let's say you make a payment of $200 every single month, that's going to affect your score positively because that credit company is going to see, hey, this guy actually is a consistent person. If we give him a line of credit, I know we're gonna be getting X, Y, and Z every single month from him. The next one is amounts owed. How much money do you actually owe? And this is also in regards to a percentage, because essentially if it wasn't a percentage, the super rich would be like super negatively impacted with this. So it comes down to a percentage. How much do you owe in comparison to how much you're allowed to spend? So if you've got a $10,000 line of credit and you owe $9,000 on that $10,000 line of credit, your scores are going to be negatively impacted because you're utilizing so much of that credit limit. A credit card company knows that it's very low risk if they're giving you a $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 limit. If they know, hey, this guy really only uses a couple thousand dollars a month to utilize his credit. He really doesn't spend the full amount. So he's a relatively low risk individual. Let's take this scenario, for instance. We got dude A who's got a $10,000 credit limit and he only uses $2,000 of it. But we've got dude B who has a $2,000 credit limit and he uses all $2,000 of it. Who do you think is gonna have the higher score? It's my man A, he's got $10,000 he can spend, but he's like, I don't really need all that 10,000, just give me 2,000 and I'm happy with that. Credit card companies love that and that will positively impact your score. Hopefully that was relatively easy to follow along with because credit utilization is probably the biggest thing to actually know about when it comes to your credit scores. Now, the next one, the third one is gonna be your actual history, your credit history. How long have you had credit? Are you brand new? Do you have one card that you've had for a month or two? Because you're gonna be a lot higher risk than someone who's had a credit card for 300 months. I mean, they've had it for years and years and years. If you have a long, long credit history, you're gonna be a relatively low risk if that credit history is good credit history. So that's why it's relatively hard for younger individuals to have really high credit scores because you just don't have the history. You don't have the time like some older individuals actually do. Now, at the time I'm making this video, I'm 22 years old and my credit scores are in the low 800s because I've utilized them effectively since I was 18. So it's very rare to have that. Usually younger individuals just don't have that credit history to be able to actually have a higher score because of it. But that's okay because if you've got 10 years of terrible credit history, that is going to be much worse than not having history at all. 
But the fourth one is actually new credit. How often are you applying for new credit lines or how often do you need more money to spend? How ambitious are you with your liabilities is essentially what the credit bureaus are trying to figure out. Are you needing a new card every single month, maybe every single year? How often are you applying for new credit? Because ultimately the credit card companies want you to be able to live and manage with what you have and very rarely apply for new lines of credit. What's the timetable that we're actually working with here? Now, it's kind of vague. It really depends on a per person situation, but basically just don't get a new card every single month. If you get a new card once a year, that's still maybe pushing a little bit. You really shouldn't need that. Honestly, if you have a card, just tell your credit card company, hey, I'm making more money now. I need more money. Just raise my limit on it. You don't need tons of different cards. And lastly, the different types of credit. Yes, there are different types of credit. So for example, do you have just a credit card or do you have a secured line of credit? Do you have a car payment? And do you have two regular credit cards? All three of those are different and are acted and treated differently on your credit report. So how diverse are you? Essentially, you want to diversify your credit portfolio if that's even a thing you want to diversify what you actually have so you can prove to the credit card companies hey look not only am i always on time with my car payment but i've got this secured line of credit that i barely utilize and i've got these other two major credit cards that i don't utilize as much as well so you can show them that hey i'm making my payments on time i'm not utilizing all the credit that i have and i've got multiple different types of credit so you can actually see that, hey, I'm good for my money. Diversify, diversify, diversify. But those are the five major components that actually impact your scores and break up what your credit score is all about. So if you wanna learn more about credit scores or learn more about this types of stuff, I made some more videos on this so you can check out. Everything will be linked down below for you to look at. Again, there's a lot that goes into determining your credit score. Hopefully you learned something new. A lot of people don't know about this. No one ever teaches this. No one ever talks about it unless you go and research it and look up what other people are saying about it, like you watching this video right now. So again, hopefully you did learn something new and feel free to pass the information along by sharing this video. But again, more information below and if you want to learn more about me, then consider sticking around and looking at all the other content that I have that'll hopefully help you out in regards to credit or maybe finances or really just anything I love helping out. But if you have one thing to take away from this entire video, just remember your credit scores are affected by the decisions you make. So hopefully you make some good decisions and I'll see you in the next video.